Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com. A very warm welcome from Basel World 2019 and it's a pleasure now for me to show you those watches. I've been already announcing before in a video where I interviewed uh, Brad Trenko, Vice President of Garmin, who introduced you the watches in an interview and we had not the possibility yet to um, shoot the watches uh, uh, in the form we are going to do it now and I had not the possibility to show you those watches in the form I will do it now. But anyhow, I presented you those new uh, Garmin watches. It's the Mark Q collection. Garmin is now with those watches attending a new field um, uh, of, of possible clients in the sense that these watches uh, are in their make much more luxurious and uh, much better done than those sports watches you used to see with Garmin because uh, sport watches, of course, are meant to be sport watches and these watches are watches with, uh, 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 with them you can express your personality, you can do much more, it's like a wristwatch. It's, uh, and it still stays, of course, a sports watch uh, because the basic of all these watches, and this is one of the questions asked by you guys, uh, what's the basic? It's the Phoenix 5 Plus, so all the functions, uh, of the Phoenix 5 Plus from Garmin is integrated in all the watches. And on top you have then the different models as the driver, that's the driver watch, uh, the one that has um, all these uh, racing circuits um, uh, preset. You can use the watch um, if you are a, an, an, an a, a motor, uh, let's say a petrol head, let's call it petrol head, and you like driving on racetracks, you can use it to time your activities on a track. You can connect the watch with your, um, by Bluetooth, with your radio in the car. Then uh, a magic voice would announce you the lap times and you will be able also to see if you're improving or not. So, and if you want to go running in the morning, if you want to go swimming, if you want to do any sports activities, everything is integrated in here. You have uh, the sensoric, the sensors on the back. It's even able um, to uh, measure your oxy oxygen saturation. So the basics of a Phoenix 5 Plus is in every watch. And this is the good thing. And on top, of course, and this we will show then in, in the hands-on, um, the watch is of course connected to your smartphone. You will be able to get notifications. You will be able um, to um, get information from your smartphone, mirror them on the watch and read them, of course, from the dial. The Aviator watch, is the one uh, dedicated for pilots, uh, offering you uh, the, let's say, a key function that you have a database of uh, mostly all airports in it. And in case you are flying with your, with your, with your uh, private plane and you are in the situation that you need to know where to land, what reason or ever it might be, um, the watch would immediately tell you where the next airport is and also give you some key uh, um, information how to get there. You have a mapping on and um, it's that um, that's the, the watch done for the pilots and what I like also and what I was told is that you can individualize the watch by having if you are an airplane owner in, all, in Europe we won't be so many of them but in the States or other in other countries might be more um, that you can put on your proper tail number on it so you can individualize the watch with the tail number of your plane um, the captain's watch, easily to see with the blue, wonderful fabric strap. Again, has all the basic function of a Phoenix 5 Plus. And on top you have all these functions you need uh, if you are on a boat, uh, for, naviga for navigating on a boat, uh, for even steering your boat, because the watch is able to link up with a Garmin system that you have probably on your boat to steer the boat. And if you are uh, kind of a lazy guy, you sit around uh, in, uh, uh, and you're having some drinks and you are steering in a certain direction and you think that uh, some degrees left or right or whatever would be appropriate, then you can press one of the buttons and the boat will execute uh, what you have been telling the Garmin system to do. The exhibition watch is the one um, I would go for because it's a watch I could imagine I use a lot for my sports activities is of course the basic once again Phoenix 5 Plus but on top um, a lot of functions you need for outdoor activities mapping GPS tracking etc etc and of course that uh, sensoric that sensor on the on the on the back that will also 
uh, measure, if it's necessary, your blood oxygen saturation, give you also the pulse and many more. You have uh, barometric function, altitude, uh, compass and so on. Everything is integrated in the expedition watch. Very nice. And the good thing is, and this is about something I wanted to show you. So in case you don't like the strap that is on the watch, uh, you take it off. It's done. So this is a kind of one click, one click or uh, yeah, let's call it one click. Stolen from Hublot, they call it one click. Um, a function where you can take off the strap easily, you don't need any tooling and you just clip it on again and there you go, Zack, and it's on. So you can exchange, you can change bracelets, you have a rubber strap coming on here. This is the fabric strap, of course, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it here, but in theory you could because the changing, or the, ex, uh, the changing system for the straps is identical. Very, very good. And last but not least, it, and this is also the entry price level, that's the athlete. The athlete, of course, focuses very much on uh, activities, uh, running, bicycle. Uh, you can even train marathons with it and many more uh, things. And um, this watch is very light, uh, very nicely fitting with that rubber strap on your wrist um, and gives you uh, all what you need when you are an athlete or you want to become an athlete or you train hard or you want to track what you're doing um, and the really cool thing of that watch is <clears throat> um, for me this morning it will be a catastrophe, uh, probably a very bad information because the watch uh, would tell you um, how long it took uh, to recover when you come back from sports and then you would know and what fitness level you are. Since I have been out a little bit partying yesterday, uh, probably this morning, if I would have taken a watch and if I would run around, it would, uh, would take me a little bit longer to recover. And there is an, uh, um, a scale on the outside on a basil and that uh, uh, tells you the recovery time when you come back. And I think um, this morning the watch will tell me, oh, Alexander, you should have slept a little bit longer. So these are the Garmin watches. Um, the prices, uh, price-wise, we start with the athlete about, uh, with, not about, with 1,500 euros, including 19% uh, of uh, uh, value added tax. Um, the athlete is, uh, uh, no, the expedition watch here is 1,750 euros. I have to check here, the captain's watch is 1,850, the one you can steer your boat with. I think that's the cool one. In summer, you sit fully relaxed with some drinks on your boat. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The Aviator's watch, 1,950. The one uh, with all the base, let's say, with all the knowledge Garmin has. Uh, now on aviation, you know that Garmin is uh, fully equipping aircrafts with all, um, uh, with all board instruments, electronic board instruments, with uh, everything you need to fly an airplane. And um, then the one that is really a very, very cool one, because I've never thought that one would be able to wear a watch to set, let's say, a personal start and uh, finish line. The watch anyhow has two, uh, up to today, I think 260 racetracks. The major racetracks are in there. You put the watch on your wrist. Once it has GPS connection to satellites, you start, you make your start line, you make your rounds, and when you pass the finish line, the watch will display the time, or either, as I already told you, when it's connected uh, by Bluetooth to, you, to, your, uh, to your stereo in the car, the, a nice voice would announce how quick or how slow you were, and then you can improve your lap times. And this is really pretty cool. And if you don't have the track yet in there, you can set your personal, or if a track is uh, uh, due to limitations or by purpose shortened and then you have to go through pylons or whatever you can set your own um, virtual start and finish line and you will be always able to uh, see how quick or how slow you were and the really cool thing is you don't know you don't know you don't there's no need to look on the watches you keep your hands on the steering wheel because someone will tell it to you Good, these are the watches. Not to forget, of course, when you buy one of those Garmin watches, you get a very nice, very nicely made box. And the watch comes in this way, it's in there. Take it out, take it out once again. And the good thing is, 
there is no big charger or huge, uh, I don't know, whatsoever charger. The only thing you need is this. And for those who know Garmin, know how a Garmin is charged, there are connectors on the plug and on the watch. And you clip it on here. There you go. And this goes to any USB port and then the watch will be charged. Um, this can also be used to transfer data, either music or whatsoever to the watch, but the watch, when it is once in, a, in, in, in your wireless, it, uh, you, you will see the watch in the wireless and you can contact the watch through your wireless and you can add data or you can steer, or you, can, you can connect with your iPhone, smartphone, whatever, Android device or directly by your computer. This is all you need. Um, battery life seems to be good, as I was told, especially because Garmin is using a, an, a very smart and clever display that um, takes advantage of the light that is out there. And so it's not a display that uh, consumes a lot of battery. And uh, really, um, so you should be able to wear that watch in, and let's say, um, uh, appropriate time uh, for your activities. And if you go on expedition, and this was something I asked Brett when I did the interview, because the expedition watch is able to track with uh, its GPS function uh, where you are, so you can, um, by the GPS function, uh, track where you are on your expedition and then you can afterwards download everything and make it visible on you on your computer and ask uh, uh, Brad do you need an uh, do you need a um, separate battery or I don't know do you need a, 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 a huge charging unit with you and he said no if you go on that uh, expedition mode it will last about one month so not bad at all and um, yeah these are the Garmin watches and I think it's a very cool product uh, the approach Garmin is doing here uh, seems uh, for me pretty smart because there is no one else out there doing it so far. Um, there are big brands uh, like uh, Tag Heuer, like LVMA, uh, the other LVMH brand Louis Vuitton uh, who offer uh, uh, smart watches or connected watches in that price range. Um, the, the, the thing I'm questioning myself is what additional functions do they really bring you? because um, uh, these watches are pretty much based all on the Android um, system and um, you will always have a watch uh, equipped with the latest Android OS that will do the same as your watch you bought probably for 1,500, 2,000 euros for almost nothing. And this is the, the difficulty I think for um, uh, established uh, companies uh, going in there if they don't add any really specific USB on such a watch, I think it's very difficult to sell them because what's the purpose or what does the watch really give you additionally on top? And these Garmin watches do, so they have always the Phoenix 5 Plus basic function and on top added what I have just been briefly explaining you and you can really enjoy yourself either on a racetrack, on in an aircraft, using it as a navigation device, uh, on a boat, uh, on uh, outdoor activities if you are uh, a lot uh, on, in outdoors and doing things and of course the basic thing what the Garmin always did perfectly is tracking and monitoring your sports activities. So guys, um, let's now do some close-ups uh, with the watches. I hope you liked what I have been uh, briefly uh, showing you here. If you have more questions please use the comment section here underneath, ask me and I will be more than happy to answer you. I've, if it's very specific what you want to know, I will forward the questions to the Garmin people and they will come back with answers hopefully and I will and forward them to you. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like our videos. Also do please not forget to check out what we're doing on Instagram and Facebook. Bye bye from Basel World 2019 and from the Garmin Mark Q. Bye.